The first phase of the journey to Mars is what we call the Earth Reliant phase. And that really centers around the International Space Station. Give me a minute, I'll work on that. Every day, uh, the astronauts from all around the world up on the space station are doing work to get us ready to send humans to Mars. Things like, how does the human body adapt to space? Today, NASA is already preparing a new generation of astronauts for the challenges of deep space exploration. This is the giant training pool at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. One of the coolest things about this job is that we're doing something different every day. And one day we're flying an airplane. The next day we're in the spacesuit doing a training run in the neutral buoyancy lab. Before joining NASA's astronaut corps, Jessica Mayer was already a distinguished physiologist, studying animals that thrive in extreme environments. She traded in her dive suit for a spacesuit, and she brings her experience to the astronauts who will make the epic journey. We think about the long journey to Mars, the fact that it'll take about six to nine months with today's technology. There are some main areas that we need to be prepared for. And I think one of the principal ones is that of radiation, understanding how to protect humans from the radiation dose that they would receive in getting to Mars. We need to make sure that humans can be protected as much as possible from space radiation, those streams of particles coming from the sun. Now it turns out those particles, while they're moving extremely rapidly, they're still moving slowly enough that we can fairly effectively shield against them, especially with extra layers of, of metal. And it turns out water is a potentially effective shielding material. So we sort of know how to protect the astronauts but we've also been looking at what's the duration astronauts would spend in deep space, what's the likely dose they would get, and how much of a risk is that? How will they live? The round trip journey, including the time on Mars itself, could take up to three years. Five, Despite four, these obstacles three, and getting to two, Mars, NASA five, is pressing five, on. Four,